My exhibition is about the celebration of queer love. I wanted to create something that celebrated our love. Each kanga here represents the queer history of one country. It was my intention for this space to be very celebratory of the individual, so I'm glad they felt celebrated. My name is Kawira Mwiriche, I'm a visual artist and um, my, my exhibition is about the celebration of queer love and that's a very, it's a theme, a purpose that's very dear to my heart. I was inspired by, when, when I, I attended a friend's wedding, um, there was the laying down of kangas to receive her as a bride and take her to her groom and her new family. And in that moment it hit me that this is a gesture uh, that the Kenyan queer community wouldn't receive, um, seeing that Kenya is a very homophobic country. So that's something that really touched my heart and I wanted to create something that celebrated our love. So beautiful. The kangas are an East African fabric. Um, they, they are symbolic because um, they are used to lay down a path for people to walk over as a way of honoring them or celebrating them and welcoming them. So that's why I chose to use that medium because I did want to lay down our own kangas in celebration and admiration of our own love. Each kanga here represents the queer history of one country. Right now we have 34 kangas in this space, inside and outside of Africa. Um, Kenya is a deeply religious, patriarchal country. So uh, queer, queer people and the idea of queerness isn't very welcome because it's uh, considered a sin uh, and immoral. So. And it's also illegal. Uh, homosexuality is illegal in Kenya. And that's mostly because of the whole religious and patriarchal um, stance. Some of the LGBT friendly countries, uh, their similarities are that they manage to maintain their independence um, through the whole colonization thing. So there was very little influence maybe from outside. Um, and um, for also the, the unfriendly countries, there was the similar theme of colonization or religion being introduced into that space. Yeah. The idea of this came to me around 2013, 2014. I've been thinking about it, planning about it, um, figuring it out in my head since then. Talking about the revolution sounds like a lines. Crying the doorsteps of those armies of salvation. Wasting time. Um, the opening was very, it was amazing. Um, a lot of people showed up, um, way beyond my expectations. Like they just kept pouring in and uh, <laughs> it was quite, it was quite something to see. Um, people loved it. Um, 
they have been sharing until now. They have been sending messages, um, sharing posts about how beautiful it all was, how amazing they felt in that sp in the space. Yeah, which is my intention. <laughs>